Hello, fearless Virgo. I missed you guys so much. I love you and thank you so much. So many Virgo people wrote to me letters on my Vimeo account. I really appreciate you guys. Love you. Thank you for being here with me. Let's do this soulmate reading. So you want soulmate reading. That's what we're going to do. I understand a lot of you are not in contact with this person. Some of you are in sporadic communication. So the first part of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Virgo. What's entering your life? What you be facing and dealing with? And how to best handle it for your highest good? Then the second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. What's going on with them? Uh... And how they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. What is going on in their mind? What are they thinking, feeling? Let's do this, Virgo. Universe, please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Virgo? What will Virgo be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? What's coming towards Virgo? So two extra messages want to pop out for you already. Let's see. I'm curious to see what shows up. Ten of Cups. Wow. Look at this. You're in love with your person. You are realizing, if you haven't realized before, you're realizing now that you're totally in love with this person of yours, your soulmate. Ten of Cups with Ace of Cups. Yeah, so a lot of you, Virgo, were together in other lifetimes with this person. And some of you were in family relationships with this person. You were family members in some of those incarnations. Um, we sometimes incarnate uh, in different relationships, depending on what it is we need to learn together or from each other. Um, you are in love with this person, but not really telling this person or showing them oh my goodness and the person is in love with you look at this look at all these emotions feelings this person is in love with you too my goodness wow i am very curious to see what's gonna clarify these four energies here because here it shows that you want to work with this person on this connection, no matter how many problems you have communicating with them. Let me see. Yeah, you feel indecisive and blocked. Yeah, you can't let this person go. You, you tried. You can't. Of course, you can because of how you feel about them. So you can't forget them. You can't stop thinking about them. This is you unable to release this person. Some of you try to let this person go. It's not working. And you saw, you're showing up here as very guarded emotionally, feeling like you are at a crossroads, unable to make a decision how to proceed, if to proceed. Let's see clarification. Wow. So this person is heavily on your mind. Universe, please clarify these energies. What's coming towards Virgo? What will Virgo be dealing with facing? Yeah, so you are absolutely certain that this person is your ultimate soulmate that you want to be with. You got two aces here. All aces are good. Yeah, look at this. Some of you will be starting new jobs or started new jobs that you're going to have passion for, love for. You see, both of you are feeling this blockage and problem with communication both of you are guarded emotionally problems with communication for a lot of you some of you are communicating sporadically some of you are communicating but they not telling you that they love you and you're not telling them how you feel about them this is you feeling fearful of the future worrying too much yeah look at this this is a very powerful combination in a love reading ten of cups with ten of pentacles means that you are certain this person is somebody you want to spend your whole life with you are certain no matter how many problems you have 
Virgo, you said something to this person that was hurtful to them and you regret saying it, but for you to say it, it means it needed to be expressed at that moment. But you feel that maybe you were harsh with them and it's bothering you. You regret saying some of the things that you said in anger. Wow. You want this person, you want to manifest this relationship with this person. They are heavily on your mind. You view them as your soulmate with four of wands, ten of cups, and ten of pentacles. Nine of cups. Wish. That is your wish. A lot of you very heavily concentrating on your job. Some of you will be promoted. Some will be changing jobs. You are seen here as very diligent worker by people who are around you. My goodness, King of Cups showing up twice from two different decks. This person, whether they male or female, no matter what sign they are, this person showing up here as in love with you, but purposely hiding it from you at this time. With the, uh, they showing up twice as King of Cups and then covering it up with the Emperor. Um, they not ready to decide where this is heading long term. They want to manifest something important with you. Um, they view you as marriage material. A lot of you are dealing with Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Aries. Aquarius. This person has been through a lot of heartbreak and they prayed or wished for somebody to enter the life that was decent, honorable, loving, caring. And then they met you. They feel that you are uh, the answer to what they wished for. But now that they got it, they scared of it. They didn't think that the wish was going to come true. Um, higher power listens to us. Higher power listens. You don't have to say it out loud. You can just think it in your head. Higher power listens to everything we think we want. Um, yeah. And that's why there's a saying, be careful what you wish for because you will get it. So sometimes not at the time where we want it exactly. The universe knows best. My gosh, Virgo, you seem so depressed, sad, regretful, deep regrets, waiting, waiting. You feel you need some kind of change. Yeah, a lot of you will have change with jobs or promotion or some kind of recognition. Change coming to you. A lot of you will be making peace, reconciling with your soulmate. Yeah. For a lot of you, there is going to be reconciliation with your soulmate. Let's see what is going on with them. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Wow, you have a lot of energy showing up. Uh, for you, there was a lot of stress, anticipation showing up, analyzing a lot. Um, Financial prosperity, diligent worker, absolutely. Also, you are heavily thinking of your soulmate. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Virgo. The soulmate of Virgo. No matter what sign or gender they are collectively. What is going on with the soulmate of Virgo? And how is the soulmate of Virgo currently relating to Virgo, especially emotionally? I feel one extra. Let's see, Virgo. Ace of Swords. Wow. So this person 
views you as wife or husband material, somebody who's giving, loving, nurturing. Um, this person is very intelligent, but they don't say much. They observant, very analytical. Yeah, problems with communication showing up here between you two. This person has hard time expressing feelings for you, telling you how they feel about you, showing you how they feel about you. You see? So this person feels this is a very important, important relationship to them, even though they're not stating it. Let's see more. Wow, do you hear that? Airplane. I live very close, I just moved. I love airplanes and I purposely moved very close to the airport. <laughs> my friends think I'm crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love planes, absolutely love planes. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. The soulmate, the soulmate of Virgo. What is going on with the soulmate of Virgo? And how does the soulmate of Virgo currently relate to Virgo, especially emotionally? Yeah, they don't know what to do. They know what they want to do, but they're not ready to do it. Yeah, you see, they feel that if they were ready at this time to make a commitment, you would be the perfect person to commit to because you are seen by them as grounded, level-headed, nurturing, loving, like a caregiver, uh, faithful, three of wands. So they're waiting to see how you... There is something, Virgo, that you said to them that they, they keep dwelling about that bothers them, that hurt them deeply, and they, they scared you're gonna repeat that or do something close to it, it scares them. This person is very slow to action, but honestly, uh, Knight of Pentacles is the only Knight that I trust, especially in a love reading. Yes, they slow to action, but once they come in, they're gonna come in with solid offer. Nine of so this person did wish for somebody like you, and they shocked that they met you. Very guarded emotionally, this person is very analytical. Virgo, this person has wanted to cut you off for good from their life after you told them off something that you said bluntly, they wanted to cut you out. Uh, more than once. Um, let me see. Let me see. They torn between their logic and their heart. This person is fearing that you may lose your temper with them and tell them off again and again. That's what they're fearing. And because of how they feel about you, uh, it hurts them. If they didn't love you, didn't care about you, it wouldn't hurt them uh, as bad, if at all, to hear it. But this person is hoping, wishing that something good will happen out of this. They're not sure where this is heading, really. They're not sure. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. Hmm. What they fear the most is you losing your cool and telling them off and telling them very hurtful words. Um, that's what they're scared of the most. Let me clarify this. Universe, please clarify these energies. The soulmate of Virgo. Yeah. 
this is them trying to make wise decisions this person is in love with you king of cups again it's like they are suspended there spiritually sort of speak trying to see how deep those feelings go they know what they feel is real but they want to see how deep it goes yeah they analyzing analyzing daydreaming a lot see this person for a lot of you you'll be reuniting with this person messages gifts apologies are showing up here wow this person has a lot of wisdom that they don't show to the outside world they quiet they they analyze internally ponder internally they not philosophical in expression they won't express much they just ponder internally let's see what else you need to see uh, for your highest good then we're gonna ask about your soulmates current true long-term intentions plans for you anything they hiding from you whether they hiding it on purpose or not but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and at the end we're going to ask advice for you virgo on how to best handle the summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life let's see more for virgo another extra for virgo this is you you are very wise virgo yes but you over analyzing too much for hermit to show up in position one but you are a manifester you can really manifest whatever you want if you don't overanalyze, because sometimes you do overanalyze, and I know I need to listen to that too because I'm a Virgo. So we tend to worry excessively, overanalyze, and that's when we don't listen to our intuition. So intuition, listen to your intuition and be proactive. You see, this is you worrying too much, yeah. Virgo, you said something to this person that hurt them extremely deeply and they keep thinking of it so much that they scared you're going to do it again when you get upset or lose your cool. And you admit that you were, you admit to yourself at least, that you were harsh in expression and you do admit it to yourself and you want to fight for them. You want to fight for this connection. Um... Let me see. Let me clarify this. Let's clarify this for Virgo's highest good, please. For Virgo's highest good. Yeah, apologies will need to be spoken. It will help them greatly. And they also need to apologize to you for... Uh, so it looks like apologies will need to be spoken by both sides. They will also need to apologize to you for uh, silent treatments, for uh, communication that wasn't steady communication. Look at this. This is you manifesting your own business or expanding current business or getting a new job or promotion. This is you being very diligent. You see, wow, they're fearing you, Virgo. They're fearing your sharp tongue. Yeah, they they scared. Now, if they didn't love you, they couldn't care less what you say to them. But because they love you and what you say or said, uh, it hurts them deeply. Now, I have to listen to this as well because I'm a Virgo. When I get pissed off, ooh, do I tell people off? And I don't care who's listening. This is you trying to figure out emotionally what this is setting. A lot of you will be celebrating new job, promotion. Yes, celebration. And some of you will be uh, reestablishing connection with your soulmate. Yeah. Yeah, you see? They view you as husband and wife material. Like the power couple here. But they're so scared of your judgment. Mm -hmm. They're so scared of your judgment, Virgo. Oof, yeah, sharp tongue. Oof, they would rather not communicate. <laughs> oh my God, I need to listen to this because 
I'm a true Virgo. Oh my goodness. Um, they would rather not communicate than listen to sharp tongue. This person is very fearful of judgment from you because they know what you say is uh, the truth. You're not going to sugarcoat. <clears throat> they respect you for being honest, but they're scared of judgment, of harsh judgment, I should say. Let's clarify this energy on the soulmate of Virgo, and then we're going to go into your extended Yeah, they're very analytical, They, but they keep things inside. This person is powerful in the business world. They are, uh, they have a lot of influence. They're influential, very attractive, successful. Yeah, for a lot of you, there's going to be back and forth communication between the two of you. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo, Virgo, Aries, uh, Sagittarius. This person has a lot of passion for you. Oof. The job is toxic. They have a lot of toxicity at the job. They're dealing with a lot of energy vampires. This person is concentrating big time on financial success, stability, investments, making wise financial plans. This person has a lot of yeah, they little pissed at you for whatever it is you said to them. They keep thinking about it. So it's something in order for this to be healed between the two of you, you guys will need to bring it up and uh, resolve this peacefully. There's something that upsets them that you told them and they keep rehashing it over and over again. Another important message is showing up here as them unable to release you. They feel not that they want to release you for good or anything, but uh, this person feels like they bound to you, like they've never felt such a strong connection with somebody. It's pondering to them. They like, wait a minute, what is going on here? It's past life connection. That's what's going on. Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Anything they hiding from you at this time Oh, I love these planes. Anything they're hiding from you at this time, whether on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels uh, you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Virgo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys. Thank you all.